All right, so today I had a client that had an issue with copying files to a document library. So I went and looked at that. I found a couple interesting things. One is a new feature I discovered. So I'm going to kind of highlight that new feature, some of this functionality, but also an issue that could arise, particularly with older SharePoint sites, if you have gone in and deleted the default document library or the shared documents. So let's jump over to the screen and take a look at what can happen. Uh, so here we are. Here's just a demo SharePoint library. A uh, couple new features to call out. One, you'll notice you now have this little drop dropdown uh, by your documents, a little icon. It looks like some books. You can actually switch to other libraries on the site now with this icon. Uh, so if you click it, you'll see some of these other libraries that I have on my site. Uh, I can just quickly jump between them. So this is one of those handy little features. Uh, super nice as you're jumping around through different libraries. If you have multiple libraries on a site, uh, to be able to use those. There was obviously one wrong with that one. Admin, jump around. The other part of this or aspect to this, and this is where the problem started arising. And this is hit or miss depending on the tenant and if you have this feature yet or not. Uh, this must be in targeted release. I'm targeted release for all tenants, uh, but I don't actually see this even with all of my users in SharePoint. Uh, so it's... Like I said, it's hit or miss. So if I select a couple files and use my copy to or move to now, uh, before this popped up a uh, bar on the right side, uh, popped open a fly out menu. Now I actually get a window that pops up in the middle and I can choose different sites uh, from down the, in the quick access here. I can click more places and it goes to view like my shared libraries, my followed libraries, uh, super nice there, or my demo site. And then I actually get that same option up at the top here where I can select any of those libraries on the site. Uh, so this is kind of slick. I can even create new folders here. I can choose different views. It's kind of that default library view uh, within my copy to menu. Now, this is where the problem arises. Demo copy two is another site I've created. If I click on demo copy two, I get an error that a default document library couldn't be found on this site. I can't click to navigate to any other library, select a different location. So what actually happened? Over here on my site, if I go into that demo to site or that demo copy site, um, and this is one I created specifically for this demo and look at my site contents, uh, I don't have any libraries on here. I deleted my shared documents. I could go in and create a different document library. This is my uh, new library. Uh, sure, we can show it in the site navigation. Great, it's on here. I have some clients that ended up in this scenario. For whatever reason, they don't have shared documents anymore. They don't have that default document library. Um, this is not something you typically want to find yourself in. You do want to try to leave that shared documents there. Rename it if you don't want it to just be called documents. Uh, but if I go back here and try to retry, I still can't get anywhere. So even though I have a document library on my demo copy site, uh, it doesn't work. Um, I can't get to it. I can't put any file there. This is new with this new experience. Before, when it was the flyout on the right side, uh, you'd see all your libraries, you could go select it. So what I've had to do for a couple of clients that uh, found themselves in this scenario is you can go into your site contents and click to create a new document library. And this is where you need to know that a default document library on a SharePoint page or SharePoint site is shared documents. Uh, you got to make sure you spell it right with a space. So yes, you do need to put a space in here. You have a space in your URL. It is what it is. Uh, we can go in and create shared documents. So now we have our shared documents. We have our new library. Uh, if I go back here now and do a retry, I get that library back. I could now go in and rename this whatever I want to. So back in my demo copy site, I could go in here, go into my library settings and go change the name to um, whatever I want to. Some other, if I can spell right, some other library. 
Uh, great, we have our some other library on here. You'll notice that some other library does keep this shared documents URL. It has the percent twenty in there, the space. Uh, so now I can go back here again. Um, if I would just navigate away, come back to demo copy two, uh, go look at my libraries. Oh, it's all kind. Now I broke it. Um, let's go close that completely. Go in and reload it. Go back to my demo copy. Uh, you'll see I have some other library. I have the name. All that functionality works. So it's not necessarily looking for the name of documents, which is why you can't just go in and rename what you may already have there. Uh, you do have to go in here and uh, create a shared documents library with a space in it. Then you could, in theory, switch to any other document library on there. A bit of a pain. Uh, one thing I need to go in and dive into more, I don't know of a way to do this. I don't think there's any way to uh, change the default document library in a SharePoint site from what I've done before. Uh, so until Microsoft can kind of go in and fix this and uh, maybe land it at a selection page where you can choose a document library or some way to prevent that error, you may have to go into some of these sites and recreate shared documents. Uh, what this does bring up is another point that a lot of newer sites and uh, it's kind of hit or miss. So I would say not even necessarily newer sites, group attached sites, team sites. Uh, if I go in and look at some of my other sites, so I have one out here that's teams uh, demo. This is a team attached site. Again, you'll you may know teams use the SharePoint for those files for those files and teams. That default document library is that same thing, shared documents. Teams looks for that library. Uh, so Microsoft has gone in and essentially started putting controls in place so that you can't delete it. Uh, if I go into library settings now in this particular one, you'll notice my delete document library for this default document library is gone. Uh, other document libraries on this site, I can go in and delete just fine. Uh, they've just removed that ability to delete the default one. So documents two, I could go in here, uh, library settings, um, and I can delete this one just fine. So again, this error does, it's going to be hit or miss. Uh, it's really this unique scenario where you deleted that default document library, probably going to come into or have a bigger impact or you're going to see it more. When you're dealing with a older SharePoint site, uh, maybe you migrated something from on-premises to SharePoint Online and uh, you didn't have shared documents there. Uh, there are some definitely some scenarios where you can find SharePoint sites and maybe even find a lot of SharePoint sites uh, that don't have uh, that default document library, that shared documents there. Um, it kind of is what it is. You could go in and create it, move files over there on uh, some of these older sites, especially if they're not team attached or Microsoft 365 attached. Uh, there's some other ways you could kind of take this workaround in a little bit further. But if you start seeing this new copy dialog, this new move dialog, remember you do need to have shared documents there. If you see that error, you may have to go in and create it uh, so you can at least get the drop down and switch and go check out the drop down. See if you have. Uh, this feature, this functionality in your SharePoint site, especially if you do have lots of document libraries. So that's it. Just something I noticed today. Uh, hopefully you find it helpful. If you do, give it a thumbs up. Uh, let me know if there's other videos you want to see. I haven't been creating as many uh, lately. Would like to get back into it. But that is it for today.